I mean, sure, they act nice and friendly. It's all a facade, though. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, snap. I can't exactly... I can't... I can't tell them straight up. It's okay, up. Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. She says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that was actually pretty good. Okay. We got stall doors. Ooh, okay. Oh, I can okay. It's a feeding trough. Oh, I can go back, okay. I can't examine the bucket. Uh, I don't like how the music's kinda going from sweet to ominous, sweet to uh, oh my god. Uh I don't like what's there. Let's go talk to everyone before we stir up trouble. I'm gonna, I'm gonna examine these stall doors. Something didn't look right about that. You see what I mean? We need to talk to people and... Yeah, look at the cow. She looks skinny. But she's pregnant. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> <laughs> Kids? Oh, cat. We had to bring the group back together. <laughs> All right, Clem, I got your hat. Well, let's talk. How to do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. No. Here, Clem, I got your Here, hat. Clementine. My hat! You found it. I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Aww. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Oh, I wanted to say yeah. Um, I can't talk to Cat. Okay, alright. Talk to Andy hey here. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. I don't know if I should mention that. Um, all right. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Yep. You saw his expression? A little, sus a little suspicious. A little suspicious. I don't trust you, Andy. I don't trust you, Danny, or your mom, Brenda. All three of you, you're you're up to something. I don't I don't like what where this is going. I'm gonna say all these are empty. All these are empty. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but God help me, something ain't right here. Something's in the stall. I'm I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna examine this now. Cause uh yeah. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. What we got here? Use the door. Let's use it. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. 
It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. <laughs> oh, you are not saying what you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hey, man, I was born in Florida. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. I'm with, I'm with Kenny Can I help on this? you boys find something? Uh... Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. He's nonchalantly hey, uh, threatening do cat. Do Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. So we need a screwdriver. I still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. Or you think I would find something like that. Should I, should I go back into that door with all the well barrows and stuff like that because I know I can't mess with that until I open the stall door I was born in Florida so Kenny is kind of my representative here and he's being a bad representative like a bunch of old, dirty clothes. Well, okay to be fair Ooh, smells pretty foul to be fair I've pretty much been living up here in Washington forever and by ever I mean after the eight months I was born so yeah we got an axe, that's not gonna help us. I'm gonna use the barn door. I just need to find a screwdriver, folks. I feel like we'll find one soon enough. We just Oh <laughs> uh, so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Oh, Larry, you, you playboy, you. Okay, all right. Can I go any further? Nope. Oh, let's see if there's anything hidden in the hay barrel. Uh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Ah, oh, no. No, no. Bingo! Workstation. There's got to be something in there that I can screw those locks. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, we got to go here. We got to go examine. Oh, there's got to be a screwdriver there. I'm on this. We got a saw. We got... It's a small toolbox. There might be a screwdriver in there, right? Brenda must use this thing for household repairs. All right, enough about Brenda. Let's, uh, let's use the toolbox. Yeah. All right, what do we got? Multi-tool. That should be handy. To get that lock off. Multi-tool. That should be handy. Alright, alright. Grab it. There we go. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. And by borrow, I mean I'm gonna find out their dirty little secret. Actually, maybe we should consult Lily first. Maybe we should consult Lily. She's probably gonna be like, don't mess around with their stuff, Lee. They just, they're just protective, Lee. Don't mess around with it. 
But I'm gonna be like, I'm with Kenny on this. Come on, Kenny. Kenny and me. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. What if it turns out they're feeding us toilet green? Oh man, I would not like that. You gotta wonder about this food and now everyone's safe and- What the heck was that? Cornfield, okay, don't really care. I'm going back in the bar and I'm gonna use the multi-tool and I'm gonna give it to- I'm gonna use it with Kenny, I'm gonna say, here, take this, I'm gonna distract Danny, and then I'm gonna tell him, hey, Danny, let's go check the da generator out. Or actually, it's Andy. I keep getting them confused, just like Kenny here. Found a multi-tool. Picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Suspicious. All right. Maybe I should talk to Danny. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Oh snap. Okay, maybe we should go outside, investigate, and then come back in until... Until... Got... Uh, Andy. God, I can't remember his name. Alright, maybe there was a sign with Brenda. Maybe I gotta be like... Hey, Brenda, you two look like you're getting very cozy with each other. I'm just gonna intrude on your we'll, little excursion. Uh, we'll finish talking later. Aww. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. She's acting sweet. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He can definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Wait, that's suspicious. We haven't seen Mark in like forever. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting. I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. All right, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ask. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Why did you make a deal with those people? We got a threat of humanity left, Lee. We can do more good without them in our hair by placating them. So that's what we do. They gotta go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I really don't trust you. <laughs>